In this video, I'm going to show you the glitchiest blitz that I've seen, at least till this point in the season for Madden 22. Uh, just wanted to get this out here. I know some people have been running this on Weekend League and stuff, but I just wanted to share with those of you that don't know about this blitz so you can understand how it works. What's new, guys? My name is Cody. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We do videos like this every single day. These videos are designed to help you become a better player. Sometimes we do uh, offensive videos. Sometimes we do defensive videos. Obviously, defense is a little bit tough this year so i've been trying to do overload you with defensive content now that being said make sure that you go into your settings and you turn auto flip off if you want this blitz to work otherwise it will not work properly especially against gun bunch uh, which is obviously the best offense in this game now for those of you that don't know i have a text message membership and i want to highlight that just really quickly here because if you don't know what my text message membership is you are missing out what it is is it is a free service that i provide to you guys and it's completely free. It always will be free. And every single week, normally on Friday afternoon or Saturday, I release a one hour text message membership video. And that text message membership video is typically a one hour offensive scheme or a one hour defensive scheme. So if you want to get access to that, we release new schemes every week for free. They're full, fully broken down for you and everything. Um, and we release those in our text message membership. So it's literally a weekly video series. It only goes out to people that have signed up for it. So if you're just a subscriber, you won't get it. You have to actually text me. My number is 208-218-6900. And the easiest way to get all of the videos is to text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. I'll put that in the description for you as well. But if you want to get access to those con that content, as soon as you text the word Madden to 208-218-6900, I'll shoot you a link to all the playlists or to the playlist that has um, all of the six guides that we've done so far, and then you'll get the rest of them as we release them throughout the season. Okay, so if you want to sign up for that, that's how you do it. All right, let's go over it. This is Nickel 335 Will, Buck Slant 3. This can be found in the Chicago Bears uh, defensive playbook. I think it's probably Chicago, between Chicago, Baltimore, or the 46 playbook, in my opinion, for the top three defenses right now. But this setup is really simple. Uh, I'm going to show you a simplified version of it in a sec first, and then I'm going to show you a more detailed version of it. So the first, the first one is the simplified version. All you're going to do is you're going to contain. That's it. The blitz is set up. And what you sh should see is it'll come around. Now, obviously, if it doesn't, then what you could do is a second thing. There's, there's. I just want to show you the adjustments in, con in conjunction with one another. So if that doesn't work, then contain and put that left side slot that's blitzing. Put him in any zone. Any zone at all. And what you'll see is he'll typically loop around. Now, I've ran this a couple times in practice mode, so it might be giving me a little bit of issue. So if you want to get it super consistently, go ahead and spread your line, spread your linebackers, QB contain, and then drop the slot corner into a zone. And then as you can see, I like to stand kind of right here. And what you should see is he should come in completely free. Obviously, another thing you need to do, I forgot to say this, is pass commit. So uh, if you pass commit, it's going to significantly help. I like to base the line personally. Uh, I just think it's, I just, I just think it makes this blitz even better. But again, we're going to spread our line, spread our linebackers, QB contain, pass commit, and then just stand kind of right here. And what you should see is he's going to loop around just like that. Now, as you can see, this blitz, when it comes in, is really, really good. I think it's fairly consistent in game. Practice mode kind of makes it a little finicky, but I think it's fairly consistent in game. So uh, again, all you all you really have to do is just contain. That's really the only thing. The other stuff just helps with consistency. But normally it's going to come in even if, you, as you see right there, if you just contain and zone the slot corner, you're going to be fine. Okay. Now, how can we make this a really good blitz? Well, what you can do is we're going to baseline, we're going to press. We're going to spread our D-line, spread our linebackers, and then what we're going to do is we're going to drop our defensive tackle on the right side of the screen into any zone we want, and we're going to drop our defensive end on the right side of the screen into any zone we want. So as you can see, this is kind of what it looks like. We're only blitzing three people now, and at the snap of the ball, what you'll see is it should come in. That's how we got picked up. Uh, like I said, normally it'll come in. Um, I, I have found that practice mode is a little bit inconsistent, as you can see. But normally in game, this is going to come in completely free every single time. Um, I've, I've been having a lot of success with this. This is a blitz that I'll go to. Like 
if I know, like it's like third and 20 and I need a blitz or something, uh, this is a great little blitz. As you can see right there, there we go. There's that three man uh, pressure concept, okay? So this blitz is gonna come in fairly consistently. Like I said, um, I like to base a line and press, especially if I'm playing gun bunch, because another tactic that I'll use is I'll play cover two and then I'll put my, uh, maybe put like my middle linebacker on that right side in a middle third zone. And then I'll basically have a Mabel coverage already set up on that side. And then on the left side, then I'll just play like cover three essentially. And then I'm gonna use her and basically watch for crossers. And I find this to be a very effective defense against, against Gun Bunch. As you can see, the pressure just completely screaming in. Now, if they block a running back, um, you might, assume that that's going to pick this up it does not always pick it up i will say it does pick it up from time to time but it does not always and i'm going to show you that here uh right now so as you see here we've kind of set up our our uh, our mabel concept let me make sure i don't know why i don't know why that happened let's see here that's weird let me um i don't know if my adjust my adjustments must not have registered so i'm gonna reset my play so again, you see here, you've got to contain first. Like that's the first thing you do, in my opinion, when you run this, um, because if you don't, sometimes you get that fluky stuff that you just saw I went through. So just make sure that you contain to start off, and then from there you should be good. So again, here's your setup. As you can see, we're only sending three, and then snap of the ball. We're just gonna come down and around, and you'll see. I guess the running back didn't block. I don't know. Uh, let me make sure that running back blocks this time for you guys. But you see, I mean, the pressure is a. It's a pretty simple blitz and like i said you can make it as complicated or as simple as you want to be honest you can make it as complicated uh or you can make it as simple as you want to so anyway here you see it again i just got a qb contain there we go this is against a blocked running back normally against blocked running back it'll still kind of loop around it doesn't always come completely clean but the quarterback will definitely feel the pressure uh, against us. Now, I personally don't think that this blitz is better than anything that I've shared with you guys out of 3 through 5 odd or 2 4 5 odd, some of those concepts. Uh, I love those two formations. Those are probably where I'm going to continue to kind of hang my hat uh, defensively is with one of those two sets. But this is a nice blitz. It really is. And, you know, you can like spy that that d tackle there and i will tell you that this will come in as you see right there there's two man pressure um i find that it does come in a fairly consistently amount now let's talk about the one man version of this so can you get one man pressure um let me just show you what you can do so if we try to get one man pressure uh let's just set the coverage up and there you see so i've got two man people two people blitzing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, that guy on the left and I'm going to drop him in his own. And you'll see here it keeps the contain angle, which I think is really unique. Now, if you're going to do this, you need to make sure that you are blitzing your user. It's really important because if you don't, you're going to have a lot of trouble stopping the run. Okay. So anyway, you'll see here, occasionally it comes in, but normally it doesn't. Normally you need that, that, that swap that we're getting from that outside defensive end and from that linebacker. So, you know, occasionally, yeah, it'll come in, but honestly, for the most part, I haven't seen, I haven't had a ton of success with it. Um, like I said, occasionally it will come in. I just think the two man is the better, I mean, it's just the better blitz. And realistically, like the one thing I would say is if you're gonna do that, man that guy up on the running back. So if the running back blocks, he'll still come, he'll kind of do something. But I mean, as you can see, it just it doesn't it doesn't come completely clean. So, so anyways, that is uh, three three five will again. Um, you know, I've been I've been noticing some people you know talking about this. So I just want to make sure that you guys are all aware of this blitz and how uh, as far as how do you pick it up? Uh, the easiest way to pick it up is just honestly just flip your bunch. I mean, that's the easiest way um, using a delay fade. Uh, or just block your running back. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. This blitz is good in the right time, but it's not like game breaking or anything. Uh, like I said, it's just a good little blitz. As you can see there, just block your running back. Oftentimes it'll get picked up. Um, the hard part about three through five will is you can build around this. So let me give you an example of that. So what you could do is you could baseline, you could press, you could even show blitz. I do like to show blitz out of this um, because it brings, it puts me in a really interesting alignment. And this becomes basically like a 4-4 defense almost. But essentially all we're going to do is we're going to blitz the outside linebacker or the um, outside defensive end there on the right. We're still going to drop that slot corner into a zone. We're probably going to do that almost every time. But then what we can do is we can take that safety that we just brought into the box and we can blitz him 
off the edge. So you see here, now we've got an interesting little defense because, and we can maybe, maybe move him in just a little bit. But now let's say that they, you know, let's say that they block their uh, running back. Now we're in a position where we've got kind of a, a unique little play here because we're sending six against that blocked running back. And you'll see that sometimes we'll get some easy uh, A-gap pressure or some other concepts. So uh, anyways, there's a lot more to this formation than just this. Um, it might potentially be in the text membership. You may never know. So make sure to sign up for that. Again, the easiest way to sign up for that is to text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And it's completely free for you guys to do that. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the blitz. It's kind of a glitchy little blitz, kind of a unique little thing. Might tinker around with it. This same concept is very good this year. The inside backer on a contain is actually a very effective concept from several different formations.